there are three enlightenments. Remember these three always. The enlightenment, when you decide to become enlightenment, when you start thinking of enlightenment, that is enlightenment. Second is, when you do get enlightenment. So many sadhus, sons, Bharata, Bhagavad Gita, Bible, everything says, there is something else is there. So Jesus said, my father who art in heavens. And when we hear that word, okay, he realized something there, I should also realize something there. When you make that decision, you are, your enlightenment began. So when Alexander saw that, after seeing Diogenes, his enlightenment began. So, his enlightenment began, but he did not achieve enlightenment, the second enlightenment. The first enlightenment began, but before his second enlightenment came, he left his body. Okay. So, in Bhagavad Gita, a question is put by Arjuna to Krishna. Swami, somebody has begun enlightenment, then he has not become enlightened. Yoga brasta ho gaya hai. To uska, uska kya hoga? When he becomes a yoga brasta, yoga started, but yoga brasta. Yoga has not been completed. Then Krishna simply said, oh, nothing happens. He comes back again. Either he is born into a rich person's family or a yogi's family, he will continue his enlightenment. Okay. So, the great thing about these three is to begin the quest for enlightenment. You know. When Ramana Maharshi, at the age of 14, when he was studying the seventh class, seventh standard, he was ran away from home. He didn't like this, like his home. He said, something wrong all this place. I want to find out the truth. That is the beginning of enlightenment. The phase one, he ran away, ran away, and landed in the Arunachalam, Tiruvannamalai. Then he stayed, he stayed, he stayed, he stayed, he stayed. He did not allow his mind to work. No need for the mind to work. Chumma, yesterday we were, Chumma, just stay. Then he became enlightened. So, his stage one became when he ran away from his home. Then, he became enlightened. Then, whoever came to him, he started teaching. Teaching, find out what is enlightenment. Buddha Purnima, the full moon, there are three full moons. Again, you see, that's a classical thing. That's why we, Buddha is forever. He is born on a full moon. He became enlightened on a full moon. Then he left his body on a full moon. Three. These three represent the three enlightenments. You see, you see. These three. Enlightenment, beginning of enlightenment. Then realization of enlightenment. Then expansion of your enlightenment and service in your enlightenment. These three, you see. These are the three full moons.